Now that we've set up Flash to use scale form, we can begin to create the menu with the submenu built in. Refer to the UDK tutorial on how to make menus. This will give you a lot of information. This video is going to focus specifically on submenus. So I've already built a very simple menu. And the simplest way to build a submenu is to simply copy the frames of the first menu and paste it onto the second frame, which we'll then be editing to make our submenu. The steps to do this are to swap out the buttons with the new buttons and their new functionality, make sure that the instance names on the buttons are changed, changing the action script to have new FS commands to communicate with UDK, and then to link the submenu from the main menu. If you've already created a button in your submenu, you can replace the main menu buttons by right-clicking them and choosing Swap Symbol. Select the button that you previously created and then create the new button. If you're creating a new button from an existing button, you can duplicate that symbol, double-click it, and then edit it as you need. When you duplicate buttons, or swap them, they will not have an instance name associated with them. So go to their properties and make sure that you name them something significant. Once you've done this, go to your actions panel for the new buttons and change the current action script with a new FS command. In our case, because we're using these to select levels, we're going to name them level 1 and level 2. Now we're going to do some action script on the main menu so that we can go to the sub menu. Go to the actions panel and create the following function. This function is giving the command that when the button is pressed to go to and stop on frame 2. This will not use any FS commands because the file will only be referencing to itself and will not communicate directly with UDK. Now we have a working submenu, but there's a lot more that can be done with Flash. The benefit of creating the submenu completely within Flash is that we can use animations to get player's information to accompany the transition from the main menu to the submenu. We're going to add a quick pan and a fade for the submenu buttons. The first step we have to do is to create the animation itself. Return to frame 2 and convert the two level select buttons on the frame into a symbol. Name the symbol something significant. We need frames to accommodate this animation. Copy frame 2 over to frame 10. Frame 10 will be the actual submenu. Return to frame 2 and move MC animation a few inches to the right. Go to the properties for the movie clip and go to color effects. In the drop down menu, select alpha and set the alpha to 0. Scrub through the timeline to make sure that the animation looks okay. Now we have to set up our action script properly. First, make sure that there's no frames that have any action script on them in our actual animation. Next, go to frame 1 and go to your action script and change go to and stop to to go to and play. This means that it'll go to frame 2 and then continue to play it from that point on until it stops or loops back to the beginning. Since we want the animation to stop at frame 10 so players can actually use the submenu, we're going to go to the action script layer of frame 10 and we're going to add a simple stop function. This will keep it from looping. Add the stop function just before the button functionality to make sure all the other action script is run. If you try it and it still doesn't function quite properly, double check to make sure that all your instance names and all your action script is in the correct areas. Our menu and its accompanying submenu are now ready to be imported into UDK. This is only a small taste of what's possible using action script in Flash. I highly encourage you to do research yourself and find out more information on what's possible using action script in Flash.